whether it was going to affect the likes of Lorenzo's front tyre. Mm. Saw it in Phillip Island. Will we see it again here in Sepang? Here comes Rossi. Rossi up the inside of Marquez. He'll take no prisoners. And the roar oh, is right wide. Wide. But not enough. He's going to be going to hold it. A shootout down to the left-hander. Rossi holds it. Marquez wants it. These two, no love lost anymore. It's a straight war I between did, these two. I did not expect to see the wall. You see Marquez was there. Marquez lost the rear. He got on the gas around it. We've seen him down his elbow. He's got problems. He can't hold that. He tore his elbow out in qualifying. If you saw that particular footage, it was unbelievable. He should have gone down. He didn't go down. And now Marcus is chasing Valentino Rossi. Rossi limits the damage that Lorenzo is inflicting at this point. In terms of the points, Rossi's wide. Whoa. Rossi's wide, but he holds it. He does indeed. That's just, I think, where that M1 Yamaha likes it through there. Out wide now, down towards the apex. I didn't expect to see these two tangled up. I thought the Hons would be off, and we'd be talking about Rossi versus Lorenzo. That was, of course, the smart money. We're through turn 12. We're on to turn 13. On to turn 13 now. Uh, Lorenzo's closing it on Pedroza. And Pedroza. I wonder where Danny sits in all of this. Danny, Danny would look like to win a couple more. Yeah, his first pole for some time, over a year for a moment. Let's look down on what's going on at the moment. The Vizioso still in fifth place. Crutch Lowe is still sitting. Bradley Smith up to seventh. That's, That's a good, good ride for Bradley at the yeah. moment. His qualifying didn't work. Well, qualifying went bad and his free practice. Oh, oh Valentino out wide. And Mark Marcus gets underneath him. Now it's a straight shootout down towards turn one. These two are absolutely at it, aren't they? Off track and on. Oh, the okay. Honda does not last by oh, Yes, it does. Just now. On the brakes. Marquez, did he make the apex? Just, barely, barely. Just. Just. And Valentino, there was a yard, and Valentino took it. We're going to see that all the way through. And of course, what's going to happen while these two are playing like this? What? The front two are going to clear off. Are you accusing Mark Marquez, Marquez of playing with Valentino Rossi to hold together with the good escape? It was the wrong words. <laughs> I'll take it back, there's no playing going on here, they're both as serious as they can be. Here comes Marquez up the inside, and that blocks off Valentino again. This is an absolute war. We saw them come together at Argentina when front wheel comes back wheel. That really cost Mark Marquez, it slung him up the road massively. This time, oh, look at that! Wow. That's tough. Very, very, no, it's fair. Of course. Tough, but fair. Brilliant, brilliant motorcycle racing. Two of the very best in the world. An Two. icon, a legend. Two of the best. Up by a youngster. Two of the best we've ever seen in the world. So, Sepang, I mean, if we've got any Formula 1 fans in the uh, crowd, certainly here at Sepang, you're going to see more passes in this lap between these two. You can probably see the entire race on track. That is turn nine up there. Oh, no. oh, that through ten, rising up to eleven. Quick nod to Marco Cimoncelli here, and again, Valentino Rossi. Oh, he's oh, he lost the front, he lost the front, he looks to the right, he lost the front, and through comes Marquez again. These two are at it. This is Walker. One is 22, one is 36. It is an incredible fight between the Spaniard and the legendary Italian. And meanwhile, Tedrosa and Lorenzo are clearing off into the distance to dispute the lead. It is a seven-tenths lead last time at the line. We'll wait and see if Lorenzo... Yeah, close it down. Yeah, Lorenzo is yes. chasing Pedrosa and he's closing it down. Marquez now in third place at the better of Valentino Rossi. Wide again. But he pulls that Honda, he wants to get that Honda to that apex, up on the flat bit, fire it out of there. Plus two, Marquez. That says it's on Lorenzo's board. Down then towards turn one. Still Danny Pedrosa and Jorge out front. What an incredible few opening laps here. 20-lap race, we're already with 15 to go. Take a look at this. Here comes Valentino. Mark Marquez early on the gas. He's not going to allow Valentino the opportunity. Did Valentino actually headbutt the back of the Repsol Honda? Involuntarily. Through. Oh. Man, you have oh. no idea how hard that is to do, let alone stay on it. How close do you like it? Oh, that close. Walk straight back through. That's a reflex action when a motorcycle slides out from underneath you. Your outside leg comes off. Incredible save there from Valentino Rossi. We saw an even bigger save from Mark Marquez in qualifying. But we've seen Mark have a couple of serious uh, bits of misbehaviour already. This like, Look at this, I thought Valentino... We're going to see more yet. Julian, that's a move. Straight underneath and he moves Mark Marquez off the line. Of the footrest looks round. <laughs> I wouldn't bother what you This is Barry Sheen versus Kenny Roberts, 1979, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody's shaking their heads. Out goes Valentino again. Mark Marquez, this is personal. This is a real personal <laughs> fight. Valentino thinks he's been interfered with deliberately there. That's what that gesture was about. This is proper racing, if you ask me, Julian. I agree with you. I don't think it's got anything to do other than the fact there's two top men, egos and performances, fighting around this Sepang racetrack. And all the time, Valentino's lead in the championship is being whittled away by Jorge Lorenzo out front. Underneath, that's two lines you can get through there quite neatly. It's when they touch, it's the problem. So, once again, Marcus in front of Valentino Rossi. The M1 and the Repsol 21.
3V look so similar, Julian, around in different that places is. on this track. Different motorcycles, different concepts, different strategies, but almost identical lap times. Meanwhile, Mr. Pedroza... Well, it was last time six tenths at the last stop. It is six tenths at the last stop. So, uh, Danny Pedroza has brought it down, or, or it's come down by a tenth between the front two. Look at this. The conspiracy theories can the idea that Marquez is deliberately brought back. We saw that kind of arc slide from under him, make a couple of real nasty shapes. I don't think I'm even going there with a the conspiracy theory. I don't believe that Mark Marquez is mucking about uh, with Valentino Rossi. He's just not going to let Valentino Rossi have his own way. Whereas I think if Valentino had been slightly nicer to him, man, perhaps the mentality may have been that, OK, mate, you want it that bad, uh, you can have it. Mark Marquez is always going to fight for a first place. Of course. I believe, and I believe that's where he'd be now, that the fight just didn't look that quite paper like Put him where he is, is my point. Back where Rossi is. Rossi, though, has done everything he can, and he'll want to limit that damage. He needs that third place. And this is going to run all the way through. We've got 13 and a half laps to go. And uh, looking back down, 2.7 seconds last time I looked from Lorenzo to Marquez in third place. And still 0.6 in the first two. Valentino. This will now tidy up a little bit as these two take stock of what's going on around them. Up out of turn nine, short shifting up into ten. Up through turn ten they go. And uh, as you look for 11, 65 mile an hour at turn 11, as a bit of curb comes Marquez's way and Valentino runs a little wide. Now that's turn 12. And this is Rossi's 140 odd mile an hour through there in third gear. It's a hell of a... Oh! And did Rossi stay on? He did as we're at turn 13. Back to second gear now for the 55 mile an hour. Rossi runs him out! Rossi ran him out! There is going to be a race direction investigation over there. There is going to be Mike Webber's race direction. And it's Valentino Rossi, the legend, going to get a penalty. He will get a penalty. I'm fairly sure of that. It almost looked like he looked up and nuts Marquez off the track. This is controversy that moves onto the track. We have had all the controversy off track and in the press conference. Now we have got real trouble Let's coming away. That. Let's have a look at it. Mark Marquez gets underneath him here. He's hard on Valentino Rossi there. But as they look across, again, with him an inch. Here we go. Yeah. Mark Marquez shows it up the inside. Valentino Rossi has to concede it's fair for Marquez there. This is the point. Valentino looks at him and runs him out wide that's and then tangles up with him. I'm afraid, I'm very sorry, and I am a Valentino Rossi fan through and through, but that was not good riding. That was a personal swipe at the ex-world champion, the soon-to-be ex-world champion. And that is Mark Marquez coming down pit lane. Controversy here in Sepang. I can hear the stampede of Livio Supo's feet heading for Mike Webb's office. He left before Mark Marquez hit the floor. Mike Webb, race director, he's had all difficult decisions office. to make all the way through here. HRC will be putting in a... There is Livio Supo, the man that's got this shaved head. He's not even following Mark into the seat, but uh, I think everybody that saw that... Well, I want to see it again, but that really looked like Valentino Rossi to me. Ran Mark Marquez wide, he was looking at him, he knew he was there. It's to be reviewed after the race, I'm told. Well, obviously. Sherlock comes to mind look there. That. He's looking at him, he's looking at him, he runs him out wide, look. And then he gets tangled up what? with him. I don't think he intentionally tangled with him. That's a, a point worth making. I don't think Valentino Rossi intentionally tangled with him, but he did intentionally running out wide, which caught part of the Repsol Honda motorcycle. Come on, ask me a question. How